Hey y'all, just standing out here uh, on the uh, side, one of the side patios of the Biltmore. And uh, the rocked in area you see there um, behind me, within the grass, was the outdoor swimming pool. And they had it, uh, they had it um, closed in. Um, when the, because obviously they don't use it anymore, they don't live here. They still, the family still does live on the estate grounds though. They uh, they live in an old um, they live in an old uh, farmhouse here on the state grounds. The uh, guy who owns it he's about 82, um, one of the great great grandsons, um, and his sons run the place. Uh, one of the coolest things inside this house was the indoor swimming pool. It was mammoth. If I could have taken video or picture inside, I would have. But indoor swimming pool. Um, and uh, this right here, uh, you can see it raining over there. See that? But um, all this, uh, those mountains, all of this was his. And uh, this was his view out of his window um, in his bedroom. And uh, he owned um, most of those mountains over there. Uh, he owned 125,000 acres, and um, the family now owns about uh, 8,000. But um, just a beautiful, beautiful house. Uh, literally had a room for everything. Um, it was it was really cool. Uh, the, what blew blew my mind though was that when he built this and when he moved in, he was a bachelor, and uh, this was his bachelor pad. So, uh, makes my bachelor pad, um, let's just say you could fit like six of my bachelor pads in the, uh, outdoor swimming pool, maybe more. Anyway, uh, this guy, uh, this guy had some money. So, um, it was a beautiful house. Awesome to have an opportunity to come here and tour through it. And, uh, three miles from the entrance to, uh, the gates of his house so that's pretty intense that's a good sized driveway but anyway oh well this has gone on forever so y'all have a good one talk to you later bye